welcome friends to another video of python data analysis using pandas so today we'll be discussing about uh, pandas data frame this is the data structure second data structure and we have already discussed in the previous section like the series data structure if you want you can refer to the previous one okay in the data frame what are the things that we'll be discussing today we'll be discussing uh, okay how does the data frame look like here the data frame uh, similar to the series a series as if uh, let me remind you series had you know two arrays like one is for index and another another is for value they are tied together so the data frame is a little bit of ahead because uh, if series if we can consider this is related to array and we can call uh, data frame as a dictionary like uh, the first one also similar uh, one index is there which uh, you know can keeps tracks of the uh, row uh, row data row index basically and the columns were as nothing but the dictionaries color object or price or item anything you can add that is called a column it's pretty similar to the excel sheet or spreadsheet that uh, we are doing in microsoft excel okay yeah uh, this is nothing but the dictionary of series this is one dictionary this is one dictionary and you can call it as a series okay so we'll be discussing more about how to define a data frame how to selecting an element how to assign new values to it if the data frame is defined how to assign a new values membership of the values and deleting a column or a multiple row or multiple columns filtering a couple of records either column or uh, rows and uh, we'll create uh, out of nested data dictionary and transpose of the data frame we'll see how to transpose the rows into columns and columns into rows we'll do some arithmetic operation and that would be like it would be doing uh, on uh, the whole data frame and that will be like some some of the methods that will be on by rows sorry columns here and the rows row wise we'll see and we'll uh, without delay without any delay let's uh, jump into the notebook i have created <coughs> A notebook with uh, the quotes so we'll be doing some hands on how to do that okay let me try to little bit zoom it okay just like we have learned uh, in the previous section like while running the series we can uh, import the numpy as np and pandas as pd pd has dot series that we already learned so for this frame we'll be using uh, uh, data frame pd dot data frame so we'll be needing the data the data that we we'll, we can uh, just like we discussed that needs the dictionary kind of uh, thing so we have created a dictionary for you like uh, this is the column name like color so we can add the list of uh, values to it items like other items here rating like is the number also you can uh, give and price like that so once the data is initialized you can just uh, pass that to pd dot data frame and the data frame has been created data frame object so let's run that okay that has been not defined okay let me try to run it here again now it will run so here as you can see this is the the left hand side that is index 0 2 4 and this is my column column names and these are the values just like pretty similar to the excel set okay now you can also define now the you have defined the data but if you would like to uh, you know select uh, only two columns like items or price like only items and the price you can also by choose that you can choose the whole data set out of it you can just define these are my columns i would like to create a data frame out of it so i have just created with this line that data frame is called df1 so let's run it as you can see only i have only items and price card that is pretty simple and interesting to work and let's suppose the default uh, you, you uh, just like the series that you have already discussed so the default index starts from 0 to 4 you can also change the index to some other uh, names like here by doing this index equal to the other replacement names okay you run it here as you can see the index column has been replaced okay and you can also 
create the data frame uh, from matrix like a, a two dimension array and we can give the index explicitly and the column names explicitly that means this is my index one two three this is one column index column i have give i can give the top heading column names i can give in another array and this one is like from green to here that is a two dimensional array or matrix you can call it so similarly i can create a matrix over here just uh, here by using np a range from 16 and reshape it to 4 by 4 cos matrix so how does it look like it look like this so it will give us the 4 by 4 matrix like 1 uh, 1 0 to 15 okay the same data i can give explicitly like the index name and columns names so that it will create a data frame for me pretty simple so now we have learned how to create the data frame let's um, find out uh, the what are the column names let's suppose uh, if you are interested to get only the column names like colors items ratings or something you can do by this is my data frame dot columns so that will give you the columns name here let's suppose you want to if you are interested only the index what are the indexes so you can just uh, get it by df dot index so it is giving like the it's a range starting from 0 to stop is 5 and step is 1 values let's suppose you are interested in the values purely on the values so it will give you the two dimensional array because uh, i am not i am running on df not df3 that i have created right now if you want to do that then you can also do like this df3 so we'll give the uh, values here here also you can change it and see one two three four five one two three four because i have created one two three four yeah pretty simple and okay let's go back to the original df data data frame that uh, if you are interested only the content of a particular column uh, how does it look like let me draw it again so that you can refer it here okay let's suppose i'm interested in the color the first color so you can do it by this one df dot color or you can also uh, do by column like this uh, color object reference so now it has come you can also try the other way df dot color you can also get the same thing and uh, there is another method called loc what is the index the first column if you want you can also it will give the same thing uh, index loc color blue item sky price equal to 2 loc is like here the first row this is first um, yeah okay i was discussing about the, here the column particular column let's suppose you go into the first record what is the record of the row row wise you can just get the row wise by you can give you one so that it will give you the uh, second index or first uh, what is the index value with one value so here i am passing it here so you can color blue items is equal to sky and like that that is the record i am getting in terms of object Similarly, you can give the range of uh, object by giving 1 colon 3, like range from 1 to 3. Let's run it. It will give you 1, 2, 3. These 3 record it will give. You can also select, instead of range, you can select either 2, comma, 4. You can also do by this way. You can pass another list with uh, the co uh, column indexes, row indexes, I'm sorry. 2 second, uh, second index row and the fourth index row, you can get it. This is the data frame okay let's suppose if you're asked to get uh, okay this is my okay i will draw the data frame here again this is my data frame and if uh, if you were to ask uh, what is the second index color name second index is what is the second index yellow color name is yellow so you should get yellow by this like this is my data frame you can give the color name like the first choose the color and then second second is my row so it should give us yellow similarly you can choose uh, in 
the same way you can replace that with df dot color like dot attribute name and then finally the similar to index just like we are using it here you can do the same thing the similar you will get the yellow also the other way if you if you want to use the loc loc will give that second record first this is first it will select the row and then find out in the second row what is the color you can do by this one either by attribute name or by column name this is the attribute column and this is the in uh, like um, that column name same thing it will give the same thing interchangeably you can use it and the best way is uh, what I prefer is uh, give me the row index first and then the column name it is pretty simple to so add LOC this is my second row and this is a color so it should also give the yellow okay now you have learned how to fetch the data like uh, selecting some elements let's uh, uh, let's move on to the how to assign some value so let's see if you want to assign the index name as row id because uh, if you see here there is the index name is not there it's a blank and the column name is also blank let's give them a name why to uh, why to uh, you know give them an anonymous so here as you can see i have uh, r and i have added name index dot name as row id columns dot name as column names here column names i have added this is the row id for the column there you go then we can add let's suppose if you want a new column to it like in this data frame if you would like to add a new column and the default value for all the columns should be like similar if you are giving only one value it will assume that the new column value all as you know new value only if you want to change uh, you know pass an array like this either you can pass an array or pd dot series you can uh, give a np range value starting from zero or you can give a random number so let's suppose you can do a, any other way so i will try with uh, the last one uh, it should give me random number from zero to one so that the new column value should be replaced with random random five numbers let's run that as you can see the new column the new value the default new values that i have assigned has been replaced with random numbers okay now for changing a price whatever the price i have for this one the price is currently for yellow record the price is 44 i want to change that value to some other name you can do it by uh, the other way just like you are referring and getting it this way that i have learned similarly you can just uh, refer that dot price and then second element assign a value or the best way is to this is my second row and this is the price you can assign it so i will stick to the last one both will do the same job okay run it here the second one uh, like 881 has uh, been assigned to the second yellow so this is the warning if you want to you know suppress the warning because of some uh, other um, what is called the format change or maybe the library version has changed so you can just uh, sorry copy and i will help here to you know ignore the warnings from here import warnings and you can just do warnings or filter warnings ignore it because that is not an error now the warning is not uh, showing here you get it this value has been replaced with the new one similarly find the membership of a function uh, let's suppose uh, similar in series we have used is in or is null like that sort of thing so you need to find is in whether this 2.2 is present in price or not this price is there any 2.2 yes I can see 2.2 let's see what is it is uh, returning it's returning true here and all other uh, instances it is returning as false okay and uh, if you want uh, this is this is uh, the only thing that this is returning everything all the data frame let's suppose you are interested only that particular record with the value like 2.2 .2 
other than uh, true or false you can uh, it will also return that value this is df in and rest of the thing is not available and this is available in that data frame okay and now we have learned uh, how to assign a value and membership of a value and let's uh, try to delete the new column whatever the new column that we have added let's delete that so there is another way you cannot delete it you can drop it but uh, this is the way you can just delete the new column so i'll run it and uh, delete that and, and print the new value of for df as you see it has deleted and uh, the new column is no more present okay let's uh, try to use the drop and see whether drop is uh, deleting or not no it won't delete so i will create another say you know new column one uh, with some random five numbers to so df okay after that i will print the value new df so new df is yeah it has random value new column one so i would like to delete drop that column by using drop columns and that let's yeah it is del dropping the column from the original df and assigning to the new df and the new df will get the reduced uh, data frame but it is not deleted from the uh, original df let me see original df it's still there okay now you have learned how to delete a column now let's see how, uh, how to filter though i have the i have my data frame i would like to filter it based upon all the values let's suppose any particular uh, number i will pick anything less than 10 i want to filter so you can do it by df square bracket df less than 10 so it should give less than 10 which is the value less than 10 this one it, it will skip this value this one and this one these three it will skip and rest of the value it should print as see list of the whatever the rest of the value it has printed and this is not available not a number because it is not satisfying the condition so this is like filtering all the values rows as well as columns let's suppose if you want to filter with a column data if you want to specific to a price like df dot price you can pass instead of passing the whole data frame you can pass the data that particular column a less than 10 so that it will give you that particular rows which are less than 10 you can see here less than 10 is only these two records so it is showing here so we have you know selected you know we have filtered the rows here now we'll be filtering what the column names okay no okay we'll be selecting what are the another way also this is a less than you can also use equal to red so it will give only one record you can also add multiple conditions like if the rating is three as well as uh, the df dot color is red like these two conditions you can also merge with an and or if condition uh, or and or that kind of sort of uh, conditions so here red as well as the color uh, the rating is three you can also add multiple conditions to that like if rating is in one or two like this rating one or two multiple such kind of, you know values you can pass there is a is in uh, method that we have so you can also pass multiple ways okay so this is like filtering the rows rows as filtering the columns we have already you know defined so you can just pass uh, so here i'll be saying pass the column names you'll get a specific uh, you know column for that so we have already tried i'll just show you here somewhere i've tried uh, okay you can pass the column names only two columns you can pass okay let me figure it out uh, give me one second uh, 
here. So you can just filter the columns based upon the columns. You can assign to new data frame. You will get the lesser data frame value. Okay. Now we have filtered the rows as well as columns. So now we'll go to the data frame from a nested detection. Now as you know, the data frame is created from the dictionary. And you can also create out of dictionary from the dictionary. This is like this scenario. This is my dictionary and this dictionary record contains another dictionary. Like this is my key, this is my value, this is my key, this is my value, this is the key, this is the value and this is the another key. So similarly you can just use data frame and that pass this data. So it will create a data frame here. So this is your um, red, white, yellow, this is like your column name. 2010 and these are your indexes and what are the values we have like 10, 11, whatever the value it has. Similarly, you can create it. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, if you would like to transpose it some other uh, purposes like columns to rows, uh, rows to column, you can do by simple format like df1 dot t capital T dot that means that represent uh, transpose. Here you can see the columns has been transposed to rows and rows has been transposed to columns. So you can also do all other uh, sort of thing. Let's suppose um, you have uh, the column name is like 100. That is not a usual way to visualize. You can transpose it so that you can get the 100 rows here. So that, that kind of sort in uh, you know, a problem we can use it for easier visualizing and manipulating the thing. Okay, now we'll do the arithmetic, couple of arithmetic uh, methods like add, subtract, division. So before that, we'll create another data frame. Data frame, we'll create it. This is our data. We'll create some rand number from 0 to 25. with we'll reshape it to 5 by 5 cross matrix. And we'll give the index as 5. And these are the column names. So, okay. Let's run that. Hmm. Here it is. So we have the data frame ready. Similarly, we will create another data frame called df2 with lesser um, what is called a matrix. So here is 5 by 3. That is 15 records and the index is also 5 and the columns you will have 3. Like 5 rows, 3 columns. So it looks like, let's have a look. So you can mark the difference uh, here. We have only ball only one column which is uh, common in both the thing but the value number of rows may not be same and we might have some repetitions like common unique in that blue is there green is there white is there uh, you, do, you never know let's try that i want to add that so if i try to add that it will try to add whichever the value is present in both the thing like blue is there ball is there it will try to add here these two and this 5 has been added and it's giving returning 7 and whichever is not there it will return as n a n whichever is there it will just add you can do a subtract also or divide or other sort of multiplication you can do uh, means arithmetic operations you can do this is like uh, difference so you can also use another way like df1 dot add method just like we were discussing these are the methods and these are the notations like the symbol by using the arithmetic symbol you can do it otherwise you can use the method pass the other data frame it will give you the same thing you can also use um, numpy some other methods function by element and use okay, even pass the data frame you can find all the square uh, square roots of all the elements in the data frame you can uh, find exponential you can find the sign log or anything Let's try that df1. So it will try to get the square root of all the numbers from the df1. df1 is, uh, how does the my df1 look like? Yeah, it has uh, given me the square root of all the numbers from this data frame. You can also do logarithm. You can change it to logarithm. It will also give you logarithm value. Because uh, it's infinity, just zero log of zero is infinity. That you know, log of one is zero. So that is it is printing okay so you can do also all other sort of uh, arithmetic uh, operations on that data frame 
ओके नाउ फंक्शंस बाय दिस इज लाइक द होल डेटा फ्रेम लेट सपोज इफ यू वांट टू गेट इफ आई वांट टू ड्राई दिस इज माय डेटा फ्रेम आई वांट टू गेट मैक्स इफ यू डू ए मैक्स व्हाट डज इट रिटर्न इट विल रिटर्न यू मैक्स इट विल रिड्यूस द डेटा फ्रेम आई आई विल प्रिंट द डेटा फ्रेम हियर वन मोर टाइम सो दैट It will be easier for us to visualize. This is our data frame. Okay. DF dot one one means if we do DF dot one one dot max. Max means it will find out what is the max number in each column. In this column ball, I max is twenty one. For pen, it is twenty two. For pencil, twenty twenty two, and for here paper, twenty three like that. So if you do DF, this is my DF. If you do a max, it will find out the statistics column wise, just like in Excel, Excel sheet or a spreadsheet that uh, we use. So it will return you twenty all the max. You can do also mean. You can uh, do also uh, sum. Let's uh, try to sum it. Okay, let's find minimum because that should return the first uh, row. Summation, summation. It should find the summation of all the rows. Average mean it should give return you the mean, mean of that, like that. Okay, and you can do the other way also. If you do numpy max and then pass the df, it will also do the same thing. Either you can use df dot mean or np np dot mean and pass that in. It will give the same value. Okay, now. It is like column wise. It is giving max. You can also change uh, your user defined uh, value. Like this is your data frame. You want to find the band. Like maximum. This is my maximum, twenty, and this is my minimum. Then you can find the range. How? It, what is the range in between uh, all these prices falling? So you can just define it. User defined method called band. You can pass the record. So what does it return? Record dot max and minus record dot min. How can I use it? Either uh, you can use it band dot uh, band because this is my method. You can pass the data frame. Okay, I will ch check it here. Yeah, it is uh, returning. Uh, you can also do the same thing by other way. Df one dot apply because I I don't have any user. I cannot use df dot band because I uh, band is not a You know default uh, method, so I can do. This is my user defined method. I can apply it so that it will become a property of this data frame. So both will return the same value. As you can see, everything is returning it twenty, and you can also verify from here twenty minus zero is twenty, twenty two minus two also twenty, and everything is similar way. You can uh, write your own method. What do you would, would like to achieve? Okay, and this is and the main difference I wanted to verify, you know, tell you here is that um, this is operated on the column wise. This is column wise calculation, and if you want to add it in row wise, like this is my row, give me the maximum of this row. Like it should give nine, it should give fourteen. Earlier it was giving column wise, now it should give row wise nine or like that. So for that you can just do df dot apply just like I'm using it here, pass the same value, and do a axis equal to one. You can just instead of column it will take the row. So let's do the apply here. It is showing red, blue, white. So you can verify it here by going red means four minus zero is equal to four, nine minus five equal to four, twenty. Similarly, the last one twenty four minus twenty is equal to four. Okay, there you go. I think um, let's print the data frame. Finally, we we'll, uh, data frame looks like this. And this is interesting. If you want, uh, there are so inbuilt uh, methods applied to that, like mean, max. What is the count of this data frame? If you want to do that, you can just do by df one one describe. It will give you this is my column, and this is my count is five. You can count as five. Mean is ten of all the columns, and standard deviation minimum is zero, one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four. This is like twentieth uh, quantile. We have a 
quintile uh, this is 50th and this is the third quartile uh, 75 percentile you can call it and this is the max is 20 there you go thanks for watching and this was a little bit bit uh, more uh, detailed in depth of uh, data structure so we'll be discussing more on the data structure as we on uh, discuss you know do the hands-on or do some uh, file processing or csv file reading all other thing so we'll be using um, more intensively the data frame as well as series so thanks uh, guys for your time and thanks for watching for watching my video and stay tuned for upcoming uh, videos thank you bye bye